Well, many questions still remain as to how a psychiatric patient who committed a horrific murder was able to walk away from this downtown mental health facility and then board a plane and leave the country. As City News was the first to tell you on Monday, it took police two weeks to alert the public that uh, of the patient's disappearance, and we still don't know why people were not informed that this man uh, poses a serious risk to public safety, as stated in these documents. Tonight, what we've uncovered about the NCR patient as we search for those answers. How did this happen? Was there some kind of a gap, some kind of a mistake? Three years ago, 48-year-old Zhu Bing Chong was found not criminally responsible for the brutal 2014 meat cleaver murder of a man living in the same North York rooming house. Since then, he's been diagnosed with schizophrenia and was detained in the CAMH forensics unit. That's until he went missing back on July 3rd. Twelve days later, police sent out this news release stating that Chong was last seen near Queen West in Ossington and that police were concerned for his safety. Not long after, police said that the CAMH patient had fled the country on an international flight the day he went missing. The 2018 decision, there's a dissent. City News has now learned some alarming details about Chong's latest assessment by the Ontario Review Board. It certainly seems that there were themes that he might want to leave. According to these documents from just three months ago, Chong was a flight risk. Many times he had expressed his desire to go home to his mother in China. His CAMH psychiatrist testified that without hospital oversight, Chong would most likely stop taking his medication and suffer a relapse with acute psychotic symptoms and would engage in seriously harmful criminal conduct. The review also states Mr. Chong continues to pose a significant threat to the safety of the public and should be under 24-hour supervision. Despite all of that, the Ontario Review Board did authorize a series of special privileges. The 48-year-old was granted permission to leave the hospital grounds without supervision, but police would have to be notified each time in order to start the process of living within the community. What do you find most sort of surprising about this decision back in April? It is a short turnaround time that within three years uh, you have the privilege to live in an accommodation in the community. It's not seen that often, especially not on a charge of murder. CAMH confirms to City News that Chong was on an unoccupied pass to the community the day he went missing and that police were notified when he didn't return. CAMH did not answer our question about whether police were notified about his violent history. They added that they have launched an international incident review and are taking immediate action to amend the protocol surrounding patients in the forensics unit. As for police, why it took 12 days to alert the public and why critical details about Kong's past were not relayed immediately are still a mystery. We asked Toronto police a series of questions about the timeline of Kong's disappearance and none of our questions were answered by airtime. An international man hunt is now underway as police uh, look a uh, search uh, to or try to locate Chong. Uh, it's unknown right now if he was acting alone or at help leaving the country. We did reach out to Canadian Border Services and the Ministry of Public Safety to learn more about the circumstances, but have not yet heard back.